The University of Toronto is Canada's leading university and the Rockman School of Management was recently ranked in the top 10 in research worldwide. And together we are excited to be part of edX, which was founded jointly by Harvard and MIT to offer massive open online courses. As our first foray into online education, the University of Toronto is excited to be at the leading edge of business and academic education online. Much has been written about the fact that human decision making is not perfect and that we make all kinds of mistakes and biases in making choices. We've read, for example, that we are predictably irrational, that we need to be nudged towards making the right choices, that we make decisions in the blink of an eyelid, and that we need to be more decisive. In fact, the field of behavioral economics has painted a picture of human decision making that is rather dismal and doesn't show us in a very good light. If you've been intrigued by all of this buzz surrounding behavioral economics, but just haven't figured out what to do with that knowledge, this may be the course for you. In this edX course, we'll not only learn the principles of behavioral economics, but we'll also ask and answer the important question, so what? By the end of this course, you'll have learned how to apply your knowledge of behavioral economics to design choice architectures, to design contexts where you can influence choice, and to come up with behaviorally informed policy, products, and processes. You learn the basics of experimental design. You learn not only to design your own experiments, but also to analyze and interpret the results of experiments in the field as well as in the laboratory. You will also learn a framework for how to design nudges, how you can actually influence behavior by changing the context in which a choice is made. And finally, you'll debate with leading academics as well as with other experts and your fellow students on various topics that relate to behavioral economics. For example, should behavioral economics be used by policymakers to design policy? Should, in fact, we allow marketers to use behavioral economics to influence purchasing decisions? And finally, is rationality itself damaging to human behavior? In six weeks, you will learn to think and talk like a behavioral economist. Learn to walk the talk with behavioral economics in action.